Remember the summer of 2014? It seemed like everyone and their grandma was dumping a bucket of icy water over their heads. The ice bucket challenge went viral, all in the name of ALS awareness. It looked like harmless fun, but was there something more going on? Was it really the massive success we were all led to believe? You heard echoes. I'm so in love with you. He's tried his hand at most things, but when it comes to the ice bucket challenge, President Obama seems cold on the idea. But what if I told you there was a darker side to this seemingly good-hearted campaign? Questions about where the money went, how it was spent, and if it truly helped the cause. Let's dig deeper. First off, let's talk about the money. The Ice Bucket Challenge reportedly raised millions, over $220 million globally. But how much of that actually went to ALS research and how much disappeared into the murky world of administrative costs and executive salaries? Reports surfaced suggesting that a significant portion of the funds raised didn't go to research at all. Instead, much of it went to pay executives and cover operating expenses. Now, you might say, well, some of that is understandable, sure. But what about those hefty executive paychecks? Where does the line between operational necessity and profiteering get blurred? Let's not forget the slacktivism criticism, sure. Pouring ice water over your head is a great way to get likes and shares. But how many people actually understood what ALS was? How many donated at all? Some critics claim it was all just a social media stunt, with most people doing it for the gram rather than for genuine support. Then, there's the issue of transparency. Taxation and spending reports showed discrepancies that raised eyebrows. Where exactly was all that money going? A handful of voices in the nonprofit world even suggested that the funds were being misallocated. To be fair, it wasn't all smoke and mirrors. Some of the funds did lead to significant breakthroughs in ALS research, like the discovery of new genes linked to the disease. But how much of that impact can we really attribute to the ice bucket challenge versus existing efforts? Meanwhile, many of the celebrities who participated quickly moved on, never to mention ALS again. The buzz faded and so did the donations. Was the challenge just a flash in the pan, more about feeling like we were making a difference rather than actually making one? So what did they do with all the money? And why did the media stop asking questions so quickly? There are those who believe that the real story was quietly swept under the rug, a flashy viral campaign, and then silence. In the end, the ice bucket challenge made a splash, but its legacy is complicated. Was it a scam? Not entirely. But did it live up to its hype? That's the real question. Maybe it's time we took a hard look at how we support the causes we care about and whether we're more interested in helping or in being seen helping like what you saw. Hit the subscribe button for more deep dives into the truth behind the trends. And remember, real change starts with real action.